Hey, this is Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and welcome to my brand new interesting series. Uh, we're going to be going over a low level language, and the low level language we're going to be going over is assembly language. So, assembly language is an essential language for anything um, embedded or not embedded. It is basically what you use to interact with the CPU. That's why they call it a low level language. It's the closest language you can get to the hardware without writing stuff in hex or or um, binary. So we're going to be using the um, the 8086 platform and we're using MASM. Uh, so this is basically for the IBM PC family. So this basically the architecture that we're using is associated with a Pentium 4. And uh, just to give you an idea of how, how uh, kind of classical this language is this book that we're going to use as a reference book that you could pick up as well. It'll be in the description. is pr was printed in 2001 and it has been reprinted. So this is a reprint, um, new improved reprint, uh, reprint version, and it's in 2001. So we're saying like maybe 1999, 2000 is when this book was originally released. So it's uh, it's basically a very very essential language. So the re what we're going to do is we're going to be running it um, in something to make it universal within all of our systems and it be able to work on all the systems is we're going to be using DOSBox. Now DOSBox is going to emulate our x32 um, or x86, our 32-bit platform. And uh, so, so it's going to be emulating our, our Pentium 4 type. or um, the Because I have a 64-bit system and I and um, also assembly is different for each uh, framework so like um, for example operating systems so Windows 8 calls I believe are different than 7 Vista and definitely Windows 8 is definitely different than Linux calls so this is not necessarily going to work natively on your system but we're going to emulate a system that will work so what we're going to do is we're going to use for that we're going to use something called DOSBox, which is basically a um, it's a command line emulator or it's a DOS emulator, so it emulates a DOS system. And then we're going to use MASM and a linker to link it, and then use um, MASM to build the EXE. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So here's our here I'll have this link inside the description on how to set all this stuff up. So here, uh, first thing that we're going to want to do is get DOSBox. So you go into Google and type in DOSBox, and you get here, so www.dosbox.com. You go to Downloads, and hit Download Now at so SourceForge, and just install that on your C drive. Then what you're going to want to do is click on this MASM 8086 assembler. And when you click on that guy, it will start downloading it. And then what you're going to do is I'll go ahead and show it in the folder. So this is my downloads folder. Now what you're going to want to do is go to um, your C drive and create an 8086 on your C drive. And if you only have an SSD like I do, don't worry about it. It's very, very small. Assembly or assembly language is very, very um, resourceful. It doesn't, it doesn't waste it's basically perfect it doesn't waste anything so and you see here we have everything that was in that 8086 so when you drag that downloads um, in there so for example let's say I did it a second time here I did paste so you're just gonna uh, use whatever and extract it here and this is what you're gonna get except for you're not gonna get this oops you're not going to get this, 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 or this. So don't worry about that. You're only going to get the, these stuff here. So after you did that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do um, make sure that your DOS box is working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out of this, open up DOS box, and then you'll see DOS box here. I'll go ahead and minimize it around this. So this is DOS box, and now you should see two different windows. So this is the other window. You, but you want this specific window and we're going to go ahead I'm going to show you how it works just so um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll do the whole thing next tutorial uh, I'll show you how to write your first program but what we're going to do first 
is we mount it, mount C. Actually, I'll do this. I'll do this next tutorial. So make sure you have everything here. Make sure you have everything here. So in your in your eighty eighty six, you have every all these things that are highlighted here, and you have the DOS box working correctly, and it looks how you see here. All right. So uh, this has been the first tutorial, and I will make sure that I show you guys a starter program so we can see how to use um, a ASM uh, assembly. Um, assembly file inside DOSBox and how to build it, link it, and create an EXE. Alright, so I will see you in the next tutorial and please subscribe for more videos like this series, like this video in this series or other series like it. If you have any questions, email me. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And um, if you're looking for the reference book for this new series, it's going to be in the description. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.